Meet 2026, the game changer, is going to be physics. You already know that. And you might have seen a lot of videos on how to plan for physics. But sometimes you might have felt that I don't exactly know what I should do from today or what I should do next week. What if I tell you, I'm going to give you proper exact plan, something of this manner. And yes, don't worry, you're going to get this exact sheet so that you can track your progress week by week. You know exactly which exercise, which chapter to be done. And I'm telling you, you're going to complete the entire syllabus for NEET Physics in the next couple of months so that you will have ample time for revisions. That is what your cat pen stressor is going to give you today in this very short video on the number one NEET English channel, the Vedantu NEET English. And if you have not yet liked this video, please do that because then YouTube understands that you are interested for NEET preparation and it will keep you away from distractions. Thank you so much for liking the video. So let's jump on to the plan. I'm going to give you this particular plan, not just week by week, also going to tell you what exactly you should be doing differently along with the resources, along with the proper strategy. Because we have to target bare minimum 150 plus. Yes, 150 plus is now a difficult task considering the level of the paper. Earlier it was very easy, but now you need to think differently, you need to act differently. If you are still watching those old videos and using that old mentality, you will not get that. And you need to get that score so that your burden will reduce. And you can get AIMS, you can get AFMC, you can get JIPMER, you name it. That college will be there in your hand next year. So let's understand what that plan is. What are those topics? What is the revision strategy? And how do we go to the exam? See, when you think about completing the syllabus, let's break it down into weekly components. And every week, the routine will remain the same and it will keep repeating. So it obviously goes along with theory and concepts, which starts with watching or attending a class, reading those concepts from your textbook and NCRT, and going through the theory, notes, everything. Then comes problem solving versus concept practice. Usually kids do not know the difference between these two. And I've seen many students directly jumping onto neat PYQs. And many teachers also directly go onto the PYQs and people feel that, okay, I'm now, now I'm confident. But often understand those PYQs might not be that difficult and may not necessarily be of the same category or pattern which may come in the NEET 2026. So, problem solving, concept practice and PYQs, they are three different things. When we talk about concept practice, it means you learned something, immediately you solve a question on that particular thing. It could be a DPP, it could be a class homework, it could be the exercise questions marked by the teacher or it could be a particular section in your textbook itself which has those set of problems on that topic. That is what your direct understanding comes from. Once you get there, then you go to mixed concept practice. Not PYQs, mixed questions from the same chapter, not from other chapters, right? And you slowly build upon those concepts. You get to know how do we approach different varieties and patterns and models of questions. And slowly you gradually increase the difficulty level. You necessarily may not do it as a timed practice. Do not hurry yourself. Focus on how to approach rather than how quickly you are approaching. Once you are thorough through that, then you test yourself in a timed manner by weekly test. If your coaching has it, great. If it doesn't or if it has after every one month, then you make it a habit. You create your own timed test. Small test is also fine. Even if you test yourself with 20 questions, that's good enough. You don't have to think, sir, every time 45 questions, necessary. Okay, so you can create your own test. And while you might know that in Vedantu, we already have that inbuilt test generator, infinite number of tests from whichever topic, whichever difficulty, how many your questions or how much ever time you want, you can create auto-generate unlimited number of tests. That facility is there. You know that. Next, 
you have to fix what you're going to do on every single day and especially the weekdays which is going to be busy with your coaching or school if any and then your weekends which are usually little relaxed but again you might have your weekly tests and other things so i would suggest because your weekdays are going to be busy please fix two hours for physics okay please fix two hours for physics if not possible at least fix one and a half hour because i'm telling you why because many kids start with biology and they get so involved and they love the subject and they feel that okay physics i'll do it later on okay i'll keep it for the night oh it's night i'm feeling sleepy let me not do it instead you allocate a slot and follow it because the more you ignore physics your dream of getting 150 is also going to be unachievable you have to be bold courageous and push yourself and that only comes with a routine and i would say on weekends dedicate four hours because you might have to go deeper into a concept sometimes two hours might not be enough per day and you might want to understand it better you want to go through multiple books or you want to practice more you want to do something extra you want to analyze the mistakes so that's why dedicate four hours only for physics on weekends i'm telling you this is going to be a game changer in your life and after just two three months only you are going to come and tell me sir this plan is working now most important which you cannot ignore at any cost i would suggest do not study first time these topics through one shots any other topic is okay but at least mechanics now mechanics means kinematics newton's law circular motion work power energy all these things rotational mechanics then electrodynamics means electrostatics gauss law capacitors current electricity magnetism magnetic effects emi and modern physics that is your atomic structure photoelectric effect right and then your nucleus semiconductors please do not watch one shots at least for the first time for revision it is fine because that will mess up everything and when you go to a problem you will feel you have half baked knowledge again you will go back again you will feel i don't know that it will be unnecessary waste of time rather go with detailed lecture by lecture preferably live or recorded that's okay but watch detailed classes these are going to save you at any day okay most important things now concepts of course you might have your coaching modules and ncrt but majority of the concepts will be cleared through hc verma that is an excellent book for theory go through the theory don't go through the solved examples or exercise go through objective one and solved uh, sorry the short answer questions that's all you need to do theory short answer maximum to maximum objective one no need to do any other things if you are you know not that confident unnecessarily it will mess up with your mind because the theory is really good the basic examples are really amazing dc pande for more variety of practice if you are not happy with your coaching module otherwise you know it is self sufficient the coaching module the coaching assignments the dpps the material that they give usually it is self sufficient this is for you know those students who might be doing self study apart from this also you need to now go through ncrt exemplar earlier that was not needed but i feel now you need to start looking at at least couple of questions because this has good level of questions calculations are there more understanding deeper thinking is there and do it only after ncrt back exercise and in text questions not before that or else you will get demotivated maintain a mistake book or error book whatever mistakes you are making that is not just for physics but even for bio and chemistry irrespective of the subject you have to know which chapter what kind of mistakes you are making and you will be surprised to know that only certain types of mistakes you are making in certain types of questions or topics and that is how you improve if you have not yet made please start it today don't think i have wasted time it's okay start now you will be surprised to see how many mistakes and errors you will be collecting in just one two weeks you have to track your weekly progress and that is the reason why i'm giving you this particular routine which you have to follow well sir where do i get this you will get it in the telegram group absolutely free of course nothing 
I'm judging. I'm just going to share this entire sheet so that you can tick mark, highlight whatever is happening as it is. This is the bare minimum plan you have to follow. 100% you will be able to complete everything by December. Every topic is going to be covered, my dear warriors. Entire 11th and 12th. This is not just 12th. That is the best part about this plan. Promise me you're following it and you will follow it. Right? In the comments. Yes, sir. I'm going to follow this plan. I want it. And after this only, you will be well prepared for the revision. If you don't do that, then the revision will get pushed because Jan to April is just multiple revisions, multiple full length part tests, you know, half tests, and of course, previous year papers and PYQs. That is what we can focus on. Because if you don't build the foundation strong till December, syllabus is not completed, then again, you have to watch another strategy video. What to do now? Now you can't target 150. Now you have to go to 120. Everything will be compromised. So please follow this plan. There is no way you can go wrong with this. And there is no stopping you from that. Apart from this, there are some micro habits which I want you to cultivate. See, save your time with flashcards or mind maps. Sir, I have this flashcard, sir. It has all the concepts. Done. Dusted. You are all the topics getting revised from that chapters. And it should be very quick. It should not be like one big scripture which you are reading and reading and reading. Instead of that, you better read NCRT only. Now, you can't read NCRT again and again. How many times? Maximum two, three times you will read. Four times maximum. That also is a big thing. How many times are you going to go to NCRT before the exam? It's better to have concise notes, mind maps, short notes. And you know, in the DNA batch combos, we are already giving those flashcards, which are easy to fit in your pocket. Also, they are small, small, colorful, beautifully arranged cards for biology, chemistry, physics, and students are loving it. So you can buy that as a combo along with our Dr. Need Aspirin batch. The link is there in the description. Also, group discussions, very, very important. Discuss with your friends, whether offline or online doesn't matter. Well, you can have your own telegram groups or if the coaching is creating telegram groups, be a part actively, be a part of the doubt solving, be a part of the practice tutorial sessions, which is held weekly or monthly strategy sessions, whatever is happening, motivational sessions, guidance sessions, be a part of every single thing. Keep yourself motivated and motivate others also. Don't just walk alone. Is that right? So, by the way, all of these things are also a part of the DNA batch. If you are not aware, the Dr. Need Aspirants batch in pure English with the entire syllabus coverage. If you have missed any classes, don't worry. The entire portion will be covered live. Whatever part is missed, you will get the recordings. Plus, you will also get live classes in the end in one shots. Right? So, instant in the class doubt solving, study material, you are getting PDFs. You are getting practice generators. Unlimited questions can be generated. You are getting digital copies of the books. You are getting regular test series, class tests, all India level mock tests and with analysis. And you are getting a telegram group where you can discuss with not just the teachers, but also with the fellow students that builds the entire community. So handwritten notes, replays, everything is available. These classes are live in pure English with your favorite teachers. So the link for that is there in the description box of this particular video on the Vedantu Need English channel. So if you have not yet liked this video, please like it and subscribe and make sure you are following this plan. Let me know in the comments that you promise to follow this plan strictly till December and complete the syllabus. Okay. Thank you so much. This was Captain Slayers signing off. Hasta la vista.